Folks, okay, it's the show's third season, been on two years. I've known all of you viewers long enough. I thought it was time to invite you to the house. Well, welcome everybody. The last barbecue of the season at the Harvey's house. You guys come on in. Our family's changing. Yeah. We were almost empty nesters. We got two in the house. And then second oldest son got married, and now they have a child, and now uh, they all stay here again. This summer, we became grandparents. Yes. For the first time. Our first. She became a grandparent slash mother. I've been doing the 3 a.m. feedings. You think the baby is yours, <laughs> and yeah. the actual mother is just a surrogate mother. <laughs> Everybody's really busy in this family, so when we can all kind of come together and have a moment, it's really nice. Today, uh, your father is making his absolutely wonderful ribs. Best ribs in the world. Oh, really? That guy right there. Lori? Yeah, they're delicious. Really? Steve is the best barbecuer in the world. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Why? It's so hard to say. Why I can't get that? Look at the kids. I mean, really, for me, getting the family together for meals, and Marjorie would tell you, it's really more therapy for me. Yeah, it is. Barbecuing is not a neat sport, folks. If you don't want to get dirty, don't barbecue, okay? I don't care nothing about how messy I am. I, what do, what well, do, but you know what you're do messy. messy got to do with it? This is why you, you want your hands to look like that. If your hands don't look like this while you barbecuing, you are not barbecuing. All right. You are in here doing the most, which is nothing. You don't eat the mess. You yeah. eat the barbecue. He's really messy, though. I set him in here into this puppy. You hear that sound? That's what pleasure sounds like, folks. 250, 275 is perfect. So that's it. That's the beginning. 47 minutes is all you need. You don't have to flip them or anything. They are being smoked cooked. Bam. Steve Harvey style. Look, away from all this, I do all the cooking outside. Let's, let's make no mistake about that. We got a pizza oven right here. Real simple. We just slide that puppy off on there. We shut the door. I set my clock so I don't forget this and do this wrong. You got the pizza in? Yes, yeah, see it. Six to eight minutes. Okay. Ooh. First mission. That pizza's about to catch fire. Went to get the fire extinguisher and bring it down here, too. Went to go get the fire extinguisher, guys. <laughs> Just in case. The bottom of the pizza was, um, it was a little burnt. Okay. Just a little bit. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, we can get that. Yeah, that's the way. Hey, it's okay. I have college students. When the pizza came out of the oven, it looked just like a, like a hockey puck. Well, so what are we gonna do? Actually, from what do you mean? What are we gonna do? You're gonna cut it off? We're gonna let them boys from college eat it. Cause hell, they hungry. They gonna eat it. Why are you always trying to be funny? No, but look at. Ugh. No, I ain't. I ain't gonna eat this part. Actually, yeah, that part ain't bad either. Yeah, but my son from college ate it. Cause he's a college kid. He doesn't know. Sorry, you did good. I'm not. I'm Dick not tripping. I don't even understand. Jason ain't stopped you eating it yet. You want some too? I told you we got college students. I'm not trying to act like we ain't burnt no food before. Let them boys eat that pizza. Can I have your attention, please? Bam. 47 minutes later. One side cooking only. I am the master of barbecue <laughs> ribs. This is my taster. That's Winton. There we go. You know honors. Oh, yeah. Come on, Dad. Come on. Talk to me. Yeah. Something special Love right it. now. Love it. This is Love something special. It. I'm going to put a couple of slabs for the crew. These guys are cameramen. Anybody? Taste pork. Pork, yeah, there you go. Barbecue. <laughs> That's how I redeem myself. Thank you very much. Great job on the ribs that he made. Everybody, the whole crew, all the producers, the whole family, everybody loved the uh, the ribs that he made. Well, everybody sit down. I really Let's don't know it, how sweet. to cut this. Oh my God. <laughs> Delicious. Very much like everybody else's family. I mean, look, we go through the same things. Y'all excited to go back to Chicago? 
Yeah. Our teenagers think they know stuff, and they don't. Mm -hmm. Let's do a corn eating race. A corn eating race? All right, let's go. Corn for everybody. Roll those sleeves. They don't have no the sleeves. The fact that you're, you're standing yeah. up. Our family is too real for TV. Corn eating race. I've never heard of such. I, I've never heard well, of such. Well, <laughs> I don't think people would really understand how nice and dysfunctional we really are. Let's go. On the mark, get set, go. Oh. Come on, all right, man. Oh, my God. He's, like, squirting juice everywhere. My kids are suburban kids. They don't even know how to really eat corn. I was poor. I had to hurry up and eat. This boy here. Now, you can't go up against oh a college God, student. Oh, like Dad's winning now. Are you swallowing? Uh, he's not. Oh, my God. Dad's winning. Woo! I think that's our winner. Dad got it. Corn was shooting across. I put the room. him down. I was That's what wearing I did. so much corn. Hey, I put him down. Let's just tell the truth. I'm you won. Country. You won. Don't throw up. Please don't throw up. Not at the table. <laughs> I'm second place.